a mixture of emotions, I would say. Because I'm really excited to go home, see my family. I've been away from my family for eight months. Okay, I've been like trying to like um, capture these last seven days that we have. But then it's also really hard because we have school and so much work. <laughs> but it's kind of like one of those things where you have to be like, okay, this is life and what's important in this moment right now. I'm trying to decide if I should go to Eagle Zoo next weekend or study for my final class. <laughs> oh. I should I go to Eagle Zoo. <laughs> be home, but I really I don't want to leave. Um, it, like she said, it's like a family here. I love being able to see all, all my friends every day. It's just this huge community that I don't really want to leave yet. Sad. Workload is insane. We have like six papers to write before so Tuesday. And what else is there? I'm sad to leave my homestay. Yeah. It's sad. But we'll be back. Maybe in like a couple years. Yeah? Well, for me, the workload, I didn't do one single thing all semester, and now I have like 10 things to do. It's just, that's one of the things. It's kind of sad leaving, but you're excited to go home too. Alicia, what are you doing I'm right now? I'm getting the dog poop out of my shoe! You're getting the what? The dog poop. I stepped in dog crap. The most common occurrence. This is going to make the program look really appealing. <laughs> we love dog food! Like it's really hit me out. I'm still at the denial phase. So I'm kind of just like watching fun videos on YouTube. But this semester was definitely misleading because we had almost no full weeks of school. It's three day, four day weekends. And then now I have two papers, four final exams, and four tests and a presentation all in the span of two weeks. And at the same time, everyone's like, I'm going to miss everyone, but I want to go to America, and it's, it's really bittersweet. It's, it's hard getting like all the stuff you have to do or, or put off until like, oh, I think that'd be fun to do eventually. Oh. <laughs> uh, getting all the stuff that you like put off and are like, oh, it'd be really fun to do eventually, and it's like now is kind of the eventually, and so it's hard to balance that and like test at the end of the year, but making it work. Yeah, it's a mere restaurant in all of Buenos Aires. Eating like king. I was about to drink down some water. Water and uh, some ribs. I'm gonna drink those ribs right down as if they were liquid. <laughs> I can I say I've learned a lot since getting down here, and I'm sad to know that I've only got one more week down here in Argentina. I mean, my Castellanos improved quite a bit. And I, I think that I've become quite a porteño, if you ask me. I uh, don't, I don't think I'm gonna miss the food all that much, to be honest. But I do love beef granite. All the protein is definitely good for me, but I'm definitely ready for some good old-fashioned American food. Uh, the workload up to this point has been manageable. But now that finals are coming up, I am very stressed and stress levels are through the ceiling. Although I do love my econ professor Harar though, he's a great guy.